Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Tyler. Um, if you want to hear more from me, go to tylerdesantis.com. Um, it's Tyler with an O. But this video basically is going to be... <laughs> Just call the Pope and let him know I need his job. <laughs> but no, for real. It's going to connect to all the religions in a way that nobody can argue shit with you. Not these religions, not these preachers, not the society, not the government. Everyone could suck your dick after this video. Promise. So, people can do whatever, say whatever about me, defame, like, just, if y'all want to slander my name, go ahead, <laughs> but it doesn't change the truth, so, just listen to the truth and what I'm actually saying, look it up for yourself, and boom, you're golden, mm. so, the biggest thing with my spiritual awakening was, um, I fuck with the Bible heavy because this pimp in this hotel room that I was buying drugs off of, yes, I'm really saying this, reads me the Bible. I don't know fucking why, but so in Genesis three, it says, and the Lord God said to the woman, what is this you have done? And the woman said to the, and the woman said, the serpent deceived me and I ate. So the Lord God said to the serpent, because you have done this, you are cursed more than all the cattle, more than all the beasts. And on your belly you shall go, and you shall eat dust all of your life. And I will put an enmity between you and the woman, and between your seed and her seed. Hmm. So Lord God is speaking to the snake, and he's put an enmity between the woman and the snake's seed? Hmm. Okay. So that caught my attention. It also caught my attention how you only have the spirit of God in Genesis 1, right? And then... Further down, you have God, then you have Lord God. So, who are all these fucking gods? There's clearly more than one God. But, in America, we're not taught that way because we're not reading the original Bible and the original translation of it. We're reading this thing that's been translated and chopped shit and given to us. But, it still doesn't change its original core meaning because streams of energy from God cannot be changed. We basically live in a land that, um, this is the hero's journey. You have an antagonist, a protagonist, and somebody who needs saved. And a hero. There's not very many characters here. You just have to be the damsel in distress or the savior. Pretty much it's like we need to save our fucking selves. So, um, basically, I don't know how many people believe in mythology, but you will after this. Um, the modern great mother appropriately oversized points to us Madonnas of the past to do child, to do the child miraculously visible in a mandalic womb. By so doing, she reminds us that the child hero, the self within, can provide meaningful focus to otherwise dis, um, dispray activities of a distorted world. So basically, if you, the first page of this myth, mythological book, which has literally story upon story, it tells you the hero, your child hero, is your inner self, okay? Now, if you go skip to the Nag Hammadi, because everyone wants to think that they're God, and they think that because they have had enlightenment, they're God. No, you're not God. Chill, chill. You have a piece of God in you because your innermost piece is God. That does not make you God. The same innermost piece is in all of us. So in the Nag Hammadi, she says, and that she is a he. She's like a triple male goddess. She's like triple male, though. It, it's androgynous. It's confusing. So she says, And I hid myself in everyone and revealed myself in them, and every mind seeking me longed for me. For I gave shape to everything when it had no form, and I transformed their forms into other forms until the time when the form will be given. Through me came the voice, and I put breath in my own, and I cast the eternally Holy Spirit into them, and I ascended and entered my light and went up on my branch, and sat there among the children of holy light, and I withdrew their dwelling place and became glorious. So, this is the shit that happens to me. It happened to me after, after this guy reads me this Bible in a hotel. I'm driving, I'm listening to Gucci Man, some shit, like whatever fucking Atlanta was playing on the radio station, and the shit just started adding up. Like, everything on the radio connected to God. Everything, I tried to turn the radio off, the numbers connected, I tried to turn that shit off, nothing happened. Ever since then, everything's been connecting, and it's because I'm supposed to teach you guys about these connections. 
So if you skip back to Norse mythology or um, the Viking runes and skip a couple pages in, it says the speech of the high one. I know I hung on that windswept tree, swung there for nine long days, wounded by my own blade, bloodied for Odin, myself an offering to myself, bound to the tree that no man knows, whither the roots of it run. None gave me bread, none gave me drink. Down to the deepest depths I peered until I spied the runes. With a roaring cry, I seized them up. Then dizzy, I fainted, I fell. Well-being I went to and wisdom to. I grew and took joy in my own growth. From a word to a word, I was led to a word. From a deed to another deed. And you can see him hanging on the tree. Just like, you know, Jesus hanging on a cross. Or Judah. Which we're more like Judah because we're assholes that don't follow God's word. Because I guess that's like part of the process. But it says, cursed is a man who hangs on a tree. So right now is our time to pick a side. So if you go to any fucking specific place in the, the entire Bible, any place, it doesn't matter what place. Um, here, let's skip around. Okay, let's do Isaiah 11. And I'm going to read a little bit of this. And then I'm going to match it up to the runes. So whatever it's saying in the Bible, it will match to the number of this room. So mythology is matching with the Bible anywhere you open the motherfucker. And the Quran too. Like, so... Let me just do it for you. So, there shall come, a for there shall come forth a rod from the stem of Jesse, and a branch shall grow out of his roots. That's number one. That's number one in... It's 11-1, Isaiah. So that's the self. The rod of Jesse or whatever. Um, the spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, and the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord. That's two. Two in the Viking runes is partnership. That's you finding your innermost peace. That's you finding the fear of the Lord. The fear of the Lord isn't some like scary, oh my God, it's like more like this on um, this feeling like you haven't got all your shit done and because you haven't been speaking about the shit because everyone keeps calling you crazy even though you have the most proof ever because it came from God personally whether people believe me or not <laughs> mm. like I can't make this shit up so three is his delight is in the fear of the Lord and he shall not judge by sight of his eyes nor decide by the hearing of his ears. So that's signals. That's your signals from God. Signals is like, um, it's your mouth. Um, it says source of divine utterance, river mouth. So that's three, that's signals. So that would be literally me right now giving you guys a signal. That's what river mouth means. Right here it's saying the God Loki well, Loki is basically like, um, you know, when it talks about a river, it's always talking about, um, like, Mary Magdalene a lot of time is the river, because or the alabaster box, or the woman who cries in the gates, or um, outside the gates are whoremongers and dogs. Well, dogs are the most pure, innocent beings in the entire world. What what gives unconditional love like a dog? Because most people don't have unconditional love because most people don't know themselves. That's getting to know your innermost peace. That's getting to know who you are. That's finding yourself. Most people haven't found their self. They haven't found their innermost peace. But time is running out. So this is your signal. This is your message. Outside the gates are whores and dogs. We're yelling, come in. Okay, four, but with righteousness he shall judge the poor and decide with equity for the meek of the earth. He shall strike the earth with the rod of his mouth and the breath of his lips. He shall slay the wicked. That's four. That's separation. That's basically separating um, the, whatever, the um, goats from the sheep. The, um, like, who's, who's fucking with God, who's not fucking with God. Can we get in a line and... So, <laughs> basically, okay, anyways, six, the wolf shall also dwell with the lamb, the leopard shall dwell with the goat, the calf with the lion, the child, sh and the child shall lead them. That's six. Um, six is initiation. So your inner child, 
should lead you. Talk to your cup is basically what it's called. Your cup would be like um, the cup. You are the cup. What's inside your vessel is a fish. So this fish energy is basically your Jesus, your innermost peace, your purest essence, which that is the same thing as this triple male androgynous being. It's the same thing. Because Jesus is God, who is the Holy Spirit, who are all three. Okay? It has a divine masculine, a di divine feminine, and this androgynous balance. That's why we have a trinity. So people can sit and be like, oh, don't be gay all day long. But there's always three. There's male, female, and in the middle. So, don't fuck it up. <laughs> Um, if you want to skip around, it could be like 16, there will be a highway for the remnant of his people who will be left from Assyria as it was in Israel on the day that he came up from the land of Egypt. 16 is um, growth. So basically all these things will align with these streams of energy. It doesn't matter which one you pick, if you flip open the Bible, it's more than likely going to match. If you flip open the Quran, what do we get? Um, okay, ornaments of gold. So, he's saying like, okay, blah, blah, blah. Mm. It says, we should have withdrawn the reminder from you as you are a people who exceeded the bounds. And that's five. That's strength. Six. Many a prophet had we sent to the earlier communities. Six is initiation. They sent a shit ton of prophets. I'm not the only person speaking for God. There's a lot of us. It's a whole Christ consciousness. Just like there's a bunch of individual stars in a constellation, there's a bunch of individual people who make up the body of Christ. So some of us, the people who got chosen or whatever, the 144,000, we just got chosen to speak first and wake everybody else up if they want to be woke up. If not, mm, the earth is dying by fire. It pretty much tells you that in the Bible. Um, not to scare anybody, because if you build your light body, you're Gucci, which, whatever. Um, so 24 in the Quran was like, even if I bring you a better guidance, he rejoiced, he rejoined than the one you found on your fathers. Still, they say, we do not believe what you have brought. That's 25 is wholeness, basically. So they're telling, it's basically they went in a circle. And then 25 is, then we punish them. So look at the fate of those who denied. And 25 is the unknowable. So it's like, look at the fate of those who denied, we punish them. This is like, everyone's channeling God, basically. And sometimes a lot of the, people don't realize that they're channeling God. So the reason God or the Bible doesn't want you to do divination, which is like tarot and stuff, is because people start worshiping the cards more than they start worshiping their own spirit. Or they start worshiping the cards more than they start worshiping God. And then it's like, if you don't have charisma or this gift from God, you shouldn't be preaching the Bible. You shouldn't be teaching spirituality. You shouldn't be um, divinating cards because you're going to speak from your own understanding instead of God's understanding because God hasn't put you through these trials and tribulations and he hasn't put you through the same shit that he put me through. So he hasn't gave you the same understanding as I have. You see what I'm saying? Some people are different um, it doesn't make me better or you better or anybody better. It's just God gave us different jobs and different things to do. This is apparently mine. So it's not, um, uh, oh, people you see a map and like be offended that I said I, God spoke to me. And they're like, why didn't God speak to me? And I'm like, no, he's trying to right now. <laughs> and then I believe that God will come to everyone individually and you'll have the same awakening that I had. And I knew for sure that it didn't come from myself, that it came from something higher and bigger and whatever than me. So, like, spiritual people a lot of the time want to make themselves God, and I don't believe that at all. I definitely think there's a higher being, there's a higher shit that made us, and it literally wakes you up to save you from this world because it's bullshit. 
um, it's like separated, so we're trying to make it back whole. We are either going to ascend this entire realm, or this shit's gonna die by fire, because the last world died by water. And God is pretty clear about that in the Bible, you know. Um, he says, Foolish one, what you sow is not made alive unless it dies. And what you sow, you do not sow that body that shall be but mere grain, perhaps wheat and some other grain. But God gives a body as he pleases, and each seed its own body. And flesh is not the same flesh, but there is one kind of flesh for men, one for beasts, one for birds, one for fish. There are celestial bodies and terrestrial bodies, but the glory of the celestial one and the glory of the terrestrial is another. There is a glory of the sun, another of the moon, and another glory of the stars, for one star differs from another star. Though also in the resurrection of the dead, the body is sown in corruption and it is raised in incorruption. Um, it is sown in dishonor and raised in glory. It is sown in weakness and raised in power. It is sown it is sown a natural body and raised a spiritual body, and there is a natural body and there is a spiritual body. So it is written, the first man, Adam, became a living being. The last Adam became a life-giving spirit. However, the spirit is not first, but the natural. And afterward, the spiritual. The first man was of the earth, made of dust. The second man is, um, is the Lord from heaven. Mm is the Lord from heaven, and was a man of dust, and so are those who are made of dust, and as is a heavenly man, so are those who are heavenly, and as we are born in the image of a man of dust, we shall also bear the image of a heavenly man. Okay, so you basically, you built yourself up to a God level, but that doesn't mean that you are God, at least for me, I don't believe that. I believe that God is such a higher, bigger being, but that doesn't mean that your works don't count. It's like, you should live by faith, but by work also. Not by faith alone, but by your works. So what you do in this realm in reality matters. Whether you stand up and speak, whether you feed the homeless, whether you um, bullshit and chase some fake shit or figure out who the fuck you really are inside of you and just try to be this bright light and vibrate your highest and be on your best behavior and best self, not based on some bullshit but just based on how you feel like does this feel good um is this right it's like it's pretty simple <laughs> be nice to people don't steal don't kill don't lie and personally i don't think you should share your energy with people sexually if you're not like married to them which is like crazy for me to say and people don't get it, really. But I'm like, you don't want to share your energy with people because it's precious. You want to find yourself first. That's why all these people are suffering and they're sad. Because everyone is looking for um, someone to fill this void space in their chest. And what they really need to fill it with is finding themselves and their passions and their dreams and their desires. Because we all, at the end of the day, just want to be loved and accepted and able to do whatever we love to do that makes us happy whether that be art whether that be football whether that be um writing or poetry or um whatever it is that you're creative and love to do and that's where people have shadow and ego messed up your shadow self sometimes is your best parts of you it's just hidden you've had yourself hidden so long in the shadow that those are your dreams and your passions and who you really are your shadow self is not the bad person. Like, if you put on a mask every day and present yourself as somebody who you're not to blend in with society, that's the fucked up fake shit. So then all your good shit is hiding in the shadow. Bring that shit out. It's time. Bring your true self out now. Like, that's what we're doing. We're in this karmic rebirth. And we're basically birthing to the universe this idea or this truth this solid truth that everything is fucking connected. Every story is the same story. God really exists. God really sent people. And the world really is ending. Whether it's ending as we know it. Or whether it's ending for real for real. There's going to be this new cycle. And this new age. And this new path. And this new shit that's going to go on. And it's going to have to be better than this shit. So whatever this shit is. Needs to be destroyed. 
all the fighting and fucked up shit with the religions, that's getting like, that's done. That's the old age. The new age is where we're all going to come together and just like be cool and like ascend. <laughs> but check out my website, tylerdesantis.com, T-Y-L-O-R, um, D-E-S-A-N-T-I-S.com. I sell personal readings, my art, and also too, I'm going to try to post more of these videos because I have a lot of information. It's just hard to, um, put them all together. So if anyone wants to like do a collab video, I'm totally down with that. But yeah, thanks for watching guys. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe and share and Merry Christmas. And I love you.